So right now we're in Iceland. Flyability team is here along with the Ouster team and we're the technology partners with La Venta who is doing research in a volcano to study lava tubes that create 3D models to understand what it might be like to work on Mars or the moon and on a glacier to do climate change research and 3D modeling of ice caves. In this specific project here in Iceland, we are looking to caves that formed just a few months ago. So what we want to learn is to see what happens when these caves become accessible. At the beginning, they are still very hot, but the, the temperature goes down and life is able to come back and to colonize these environments. Studying ice caves and volcanic caves on Earth is a way to understand uh, what we could find in space exploration. We have a drone that can do great things for industry, but it can also be used in those kind of expedition to collect data for science. La Venta, they are pushing the, the research on global warming with a new point of view that nobody took in consideration before. If we are able to access the, the subsurface of the glacier, the interior of the glacier with the light of Auster, then you can also look and see how much ice is missing inside. And it's something that nobody has ever done before. And now with this technology, we can do that. The data that we obtained, it's impressive. And now we can use this data to calculate the volume of the cave and of the voids. And we can come back here next year and the next 10 years. And we can monitor the evolution of this cave, which is very, very important. We're supporting industrial inspectors as they go into boilers or pressure vessels. It's incredibly important to not only help push forward the research, but also push our technology and test its limits in extreme scenarios, extreme cold, extreme heat. We also wanted to find a LiDAR partner that would be tough, that could sustain the kind of impacts, collisions that we expect to happen with our drone. Ouster was at the top of our list because of the reputation, because of the quality of the data, and because every single year, they're pushing out new updates that our clients will directly benefit from. There are places where it's too dangerous. It's simply too dangerous to send one of the team to scout and see what is there or, or to map. Because of gases, because it's too hot, because it could collapse. Usually it's not easy to work inside ice caves because ice is like a mirror for the lighters. We are now able to do 3D mapping and calculate volume in uh, unthinkable environments where uh, uh, we can't go. Uh, you can really get the real sensation of the environment. You can really get the real shape of things that otherwise are just in the darkness. The advancement in technology was so impressive. Now you can really go scout as we would do on another planet, see what is there and come back with the 3D model and get the full view of these environments. I'm so confident that this partnership between Flyability and Ouster will ultimately benefit our customers and help them realize even greater gains in terms of safety, reduce downtimes, and increase efficiency in their inspections. We are explorers. The caves are kind of places where we can travel in time and try to interpret what has been going on. Every human being has this kind of DNA of the explorers. It's not very different what we were doing today to what an astronaut would have to do on the moon. Where you can find the deposits that tells you the story of the solar system, the formation of, of the moon itself. And so I expect we will find something very interesting that could change even our perspective on how we see these planets. So. If we can show what is there, maybe people will start understanding that there is a problem. Maybe they will take action to preserve a glacier or to do something about the climate or to support more science and ask the big questions of why we are here and, and why we have life. But as any exploration, you cannot really always tell what you will find. Nature is always there to go beyond your ability to imagine things. But I think this technology, if it's used well, can really help us to understand where we are. From the scientific point of view, we have a lot of data now that we can use. It's amazing, it's, it's fantastic. We're just getting started, but we know that the future for what LiDAR sensing will enable is just incredibly promising. It's, it's going to be unlocking new use cases that we can only you know, begin to imagine right now.